Okay, guys, we have the ultimate rule number nine knife today. This is something totally different, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say most of you aren't going to care. But that's okay, because I still show all the knives. That's what I've said from the beginning. That's what I'm here to do. So Will, my good buddy, lent me this Scuba Pro Mako knife. Will just got back from Hawaii a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago now at the time of filming, where he was diving. He's a scuba diver, free diver, um, snorkeler, you know, he's that kind of guy. Um, I did just get back from Hawaii last July, uh, July 2021. And I'm going back again in September of 2022. I did try snorkeling and uh, ended up drinking more of the ocean than breathing the air. So I don't think I'm coordinated enough for the snorkeling thing. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I had fun in the water for about 10 minutes. And then uh, I just got out and watched everybody else play in the water. And my girlfriend had a great time. So it was worth it for that, right? Scuba diving, on the other hand, I would like to try that. But I, it, I don't know. It's a little weird breathing underwater. But since I don't have to keep the snorkel above the water and me under the water, maybe I can coordinate that better. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Will and I will talk about that in the future. But anyway, let's dive into this. <laughs> see what I did there? Let's dive into this Scuba Pro knife. <clears throat> what interested me about this and him as well was the fact that it is made out of full titanium. So the, the blade on this is a titanium blade. So you are absolutely 100% rust proof. And... Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It even comes with a bottle opener in the handle for your after-dive nourishment. Okay, little Tonto blade here with some serrations and what they call a uh, rope hook so that you could get some twine or rope in there and just pull back kind of like a seatbelt cutter, if you will. What I think is cool about the sheath is that it is ambidextrous sheath. So you can put the blade in this way and wear it on your right leg. Or you can put it in this way and wear it on your left leg. It's very cool how the sheath is either or, right? I think that's a cool way to go. Feels good in the hand. What you do not want to do with this knife is put your thumb up here because I did that. I didn't cut myself, but it was pointy enough that I realized I, I better not do that. Um, yeah, you do not want to. I mean, I guess you could reach over and put your thumb up here, but yeah, just don't, don't do that. Uh, some quick specs because I know probably people don't really care. Seven and three eighths overall, 3.55 3.35, 3.35 inch blade with a 2.7 inch cu eight cutting edge. The knife alone weighs 2.1 ounces. The whole rig together is 5.7 ounces. It also does come uh, over here in the box. It does have some mounts so that you could hard mount this to your BCD. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what a BCD was either. It is a buoyancy control device. Google is my friend. Uh, basically, it's like a vest that helps control your buoyancy so you're not sinking to the ocean floor or floating up. So it draws in water and releases water in such a way and, and air to keep you kind of neutral, I guess you would call it. So you're not sinking or rising in the water. Kind of cool. Um, yeah. And I, I kind of learned about those a little bit on the movie 47 meters that I just watched recently too. 
Yeah, they talked about BCD a lot. I didn't know what it meant until I looked it up just a few minutes ago. Um, and the overall, the blade thickness is 0.121. Overall thickness is 0.427. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad I got to check it out. I'm not ever really going to want or need one. Um, it's about 145 bucks, give or take online. Yeah, let me give you a, let, let me do a couple of size comparisons just because that's how we roll, right? Here it is with the Spyderco Delica. It's basically very similar to the Spyderco Delica size, okay? Um, and it's lighter than the Delica for sure. Uh, here it is with the Sharpie. And the AA and D cell batteries, just, you know, because it's what we do here. So, Will, thanks for letting me check it out. It was kind of cool. I got to look up some stuff that I didn't know anything about. So, that was kind of neat. Um, and yeah, next time we get together, Will is local to me. Um, we'll get together. I have a box of stuff now. I think this was the last knife in the box to film. So I'll have to get these back to him and we'll just try to get together for lunch. And uh, I'd like to hear more about his dive and stuff because I didn't get to talk about that last time. When I did meet with him, we were meeting in a group for a watch event. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's something different I thought was neat for me to check out. So I thought I would share with you guys. Let me know what you think. Anybody Is anybody a diver here? Anybody done any diving, whether you're a diver or not? Maybe you've done it once. Let us know down in the comments. I would love to hear. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.